dirt of King David. All right. See the man, Charles All right. Now, Jesus Christ. Come up here, point, point to which image everybody says is Jesus. That one right there. Okay. I, I got you, I got you, I got you. Let me, let me teach you. Let me teach you. All right. Now, according to the Bible, have you ever read that before? You haven't read that? All right, look, I'm going to read you a scripture to show you what Christ looks like according to the Bible. You believe in the Bible? You got a little cross on your neck. So that means you like a Christian. Or it's a what? A T? What that for your name? What's your name? Taylor. Taylor? Okay, Taylor. All right, check this out. I'm going to read you the description of Christ, and then I want you to point that. We got a couple of images up here. You see this image? That's an image. That's an image. That's an image. Point to which one you think makes sense based on this Bible verse right here. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Taylor, the Bible says Christ had hair that was white and woolly. White and color, woolly and texture. Which picture do you see the guy? White, woolly texture. Point to it, I can't tell what you mean. That one? What color is that? That's black. That's black. It said that it was white. The bottom. Bottom? This one? Yeah. Okay. It said woolly. What is woolly? Like, you know what wool look like? Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. This is wool. See my hair? This is wool. See that growing up at the top? This is wool. Nappy. That's what they call it nowadays. Nappy. Which one got nappy? Which one got an afro? At the top. Okay. All right. This ain't nappy afro here. That's long, straight, stringy dog hair, right? Mm -hmm. Read on. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes are as a flame of fire. And his feet. And his feet. Look, your feet match the rest of your body, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And his feet uh -huh. like unto fine brass. You know what color brass is? Mm -hmm. It's brown. But not only is it dark brown, but look, check this out. Read. As if they burn in a furnace. So if you burn anything in a furnace, Taylor, what color does it turn? But we're reading about somebody describing Christ. So Christ got skin that looked like it was burned in a furnace. He got afro-like hair. That's what the Bible says. That's one of these things that like the Bible says. Dark skin and an afro. But they've been lying to us the whole time, telling us that Christ looks like that. Why do you think that is, Tim? Why do you think they want us to think Christ is what? You want to know? Let me tell you. They want you to see white people as more important than you. Because Christ is the greatest man that walked the earth, right? Right! So if he was white, what does that mean about the other white people? Are they great too? That's what that would mean, subconsciously. So if the greatest man to walk the face of the earth was white, but then you're black, and every time they put you on TV, you want to see the clock news for stealing something, for killing somebody, for going to jail, what does that mean about your people? Right, that's what it means. That's what it means. But God said that he's the bad guy. Right. And you the good guy. Right. So we're trying to get our people to return back to that. I see you trying to enter with. I see you trying to enter with. Now look, give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Mm -hmm. All right, so because... Because Christ is an Israelite, so are you. Christ is black, right? If the Israelites are black, that means you what? That means you're Israelite. Black is just a color in a crayon box. You're more important than a color in a crayon box. That's right. You're more special than a color in a crayon box. Right. How old are you, Tim? 13. 13? You got your whole life ahead of you. You got your whole life ahead of you. All right? And I don't want to see you end up... I got daughters myself. I don't want to see you end up where a lot of the sisters end up that are being guided without these laws that you can command. All right? Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Now, part of this is going to be how you dress. Uh, how you dress is very important because what God wants you to understand, Taylor, is that you're a princess. You see a princess when you look in the mirror, Taylor? Yeah? Now, when you see the princesses on TV, how are they normally dressed? 
normally dress like royalty. So we want you to learn how to dress like royalty too. Right? That way when people see you, they see royalty and not something that they're not supposed to be seeing. Right, read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Just the bus, watch your back. It's car moving, car moving. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. All right, now Taylor, you know what pertains to men? Pants. God gave us these to cover our nakedness. We got we got private parts that get covered up when we wear articles or clothing like this. Right? Now you you all got areas that'll be covered up regardless whether you got pants on or not. Y'all stuff is inside, our stuff is outside. Right? You gonna read that again? Yeah, read that again. Verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh-huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's gun. Right. So a man not supposed to be wearing a dress, woman not supposed to be wearing pants. But you know why? Give, give me a give me Sirach About eight, nine, eight. Yeah. You know what I want? Chapter nine? Okay. Alright, this this is why. Because you see how you got like a lot of skin out, right? What's, you have a sex? You have it? Okay. Now, if a man is looking at you and he sees different parts of your body, what do you think he's going to start thinking about? He's going to start thinking about the other parts of your body that's not covered up. That's real close to the bodies that are already uncovered. You know what I mean? Like you got the thigh showing a little bit, your belly button showing a little bit. Right? So naturally a man is going to start thinking about other stuff like that. But we don't... Sirach chapter 9 verse 5 uh -huh. Gaze not on a man So the Bible tells me as a man Not to be looking on a woman A young pretty woman She's supposed to be pretty But I ain't supposed to be looking at her For what, for what reason? That thou fall not by those things That are precious in her If a man falls by the things that are precious in a woman That means that he's having sex with her Outside of the way God ordains sex to be Right? So you may not have been, I'm sure you've been approached with it, right? When I was there, everybody had been approached with it already, right? If you haven't engaged with it, all praises to the Most High. Don't engage with it. Right. God says that what you have, your secret parts, are precious. They're precious. That's a thing of value that you have. But you know what happens when you take something valuable and you just let everybody see it, let everybody touch it, let everybody handle it? You know what happens to the value? It goes down. It goes down. So we want you to be valuable and stay valuable because God told you that you're special as one of the daughters. Right? Right. All right. So we care about you just like one of our little sisters. Give me Deuteronomy 7. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. All right. So look, we try to bring our people back to the greatness that God created in them. Right. right? And a big part of that is how everyone views their own self. Right. The way you internalize your view of self. Right? Yeah. You good? You good? You good? Now you good. The, uh, the young sister, the, the spirit, was calling her because she was looking over here when she went in the store, looking over for all praises she gave her. That's crazy. So Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. I should have asked her if her father was going to lie. You know? For thou art an holy people. The Bible says that thou art an holy people. You know that, my brother with the hat back? You know God called you special? All right? But the special people, he don't call them black, though. He call them something else. What he call them, bro? What God call you? God call you an Israelite. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord.